Hi, welcome to my channel, Delight Upon Delight. My name is Anissa and this channel is all about interiors and how to create interiors that serve you despite your personal style. Today I am going to be doing a haul video for Crate and Barrel, um, Our Place, Fredericks and May, Amazon, Lone Fox, which I don't know if that's the name of the store, but if you look at interiors on YouTube, you will know who Lone Fox is. He's amazing. Um, now, I used to always see people's hauls vi haul videos and wonder how somebody could be buying so much from one store to be able to actually make a video about it or they get sent obviously they get sent um, things as well but these are things that I have personally bought and so when I say haul I don't mean that it's a lot from the same store it's a haul for me because it is pretty much a suitcase full of things that I have bought from the US. I don't live in the US. I currently live in Southeast Asia, but my husband went to the US on a work trip and then kept telling me while he was there, what is this random stuff that keeps getting delivered to my hotel? <laughs> sorry, not sorry. So anyway, so it's a bunch of interiors stuff that I have liked for a long time or took advantage of the opportunity of him being there, that um, things that I wanted for my home um, here in Southeast Asia, but the stores are based in the States and I will provide links down below of where I got what, but I haven't tried any of them. So it's not an endorsement of any of it. It's just what I got. I thought it'd be interesting to open the suitcase together and see what I have. The first thing I got now, I don't know if you've heard about this brand. It's called Our Place. You may have, I think they're kind of getting, becoming well known. I got an Our Place pot. I am half Iranian and we make a lot of rice dishes in our home. So, and we make something that's called Tadik, which is the hard part of the bottom of the pot. Also got this, which is a dish that you put on top of the pot to flip the pot to get the Tadig, which is that bottom crispy part of the rice when you're making Iranian dishes. And it's, I mean, Korean dishes. There's lots of, there's a, there's quite a few actual dishes which I've seen have the tadi concept. I think there's a, yeah, Korean definitely. Um, but anyway, so yeah. So you are able to, so you are able to fit that on top and then flip it because the handles and everything fits with each other. So I'm super excited about that. So that is number one. And I'll let you know how I go with it um, if, if anyone's interested. So there's our Our Place pot and it came with the spoon. Um, I have to take these things out first because they were... I am grateful to my husband for dealing with packing these strange objects. Um, so let's look at Lone Fox. What I got from Lone Fox, he is, like I said, he's a huge interiors YouTuber. He is um, renovating his newly purchased home. I love watching his renovations. He's so handy i wish i was that handy and was able to do the things he does he's super inspirational so go check him out if you don't already know which i think you all know okay um so i got this delicious delicious it is delicious that was not the word i was looking for but when i saw it that's the first word that came to my mind this beautiful throw um from him which is super snuggly and the and the colors are a little bit more muted than what i saw on the online store but i actually like it more because it sort of suits my aesthetic more actually but yeah i love it and i'll show you these things styled so that's why i thought it would be fun to see them now and then see how i style them in my home because they'll probably prop up in videos oh and zara home i forgot i got some stuff from zara home okay what did i get from zara home okay i got these towels i just needed some um fresh hand towels for our guest um not guest bathroom, but the bathroom that's downstairs in our house. And I thought these would look, it's got some very not nice looking tile in there. So I thought having a nice towel might offset the not nice looking tile. I'll show you the bathroom at a later date. Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing something to it. I've seen a lot of stick on tiles and things, but it's honestly not a priority. It's not a priority. I don't use that bathroom very much. 
So I don't know, but yeah. So I got a couple of those and they have this really pretty trim around them. I don't know how they're gonna hold up. Like I said, I'm not sure yet. I'll let you know if you're interested, let me know. And because I am very worried that I'm speaking and I'm unpacking and I'm not filming, I'm gonna check, okay? Give me a sec. I'm gonna check if I'm actually filming because that's happened to me before and it's horrid. Oh yeah, I'm here, great. <laughs> As you know, I'm new here. <laughs> you don't need to know because you can tell, can't you? And it's an overcast day, but this is my opportunity to do it. I have to I have like literally got 15 minutes because I have to go now after this and go pick up my kids from play date in multiple locations. So we don't have much time, let's keep going. Okay, so who, who was I doing? Oh my gosh, I jumped from thing to thing. So this is Lone Fox. Let me show you other things I got from Lone Fox. I've got this candle snuffer, is that the right word? Sounds not very good. Candle snuffer, because um, I was looking for um, lighting options that are, I wanna have different types of more layered lighting in my home. I know I spoke about it in my trends video, but I think it makes for a really cozy situation in rooms to have different lighting options. I'm looking for lamps, and then I also have added some candles and some rooms. And this I also got from my box. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. It's a vase and it's heavy metal vase. Got that from Lone Fox. Oh, it's so cool. Very cool. And then let's have a look. Oh, I also got this from Lone Fox. Now, this is a, I'm pretty sure this is for, like if you're at a campfire or if you have a fireplace in your house, which I don't have either of those things, but I just love the idea of these long candlesticks. So that's from Lone Fox as well. Um, yeah, because, it looks really cute and I'm wondering if I should put them in a glass next to it or if they look ridiculous if they're that long next to it. I don't know. We're also going to um, Australia soon and we do like, like campfires and things there so maybe I'll take some with me but they're very nice. So they're all from Lone Fox and let's see who did I start? Zara. Let's see I got something else from Zara which was cool. Um, one of my one of my favorite interior designers is Colin King. Again, if you've not seen him, I just love his aesthetic. It's very similar to how I would like my surroundings to feel. Um, and so anyway, this is and his taste. I mean, everything that I see that he puts in his spaces is like, that would be something that I would also buy. His personal style, I feel, not to try to say that I am like him, but um, yeah, I, I just really, resonate with his personal stuff. So anyway, so I got this, which is from his collection with Zara as well, which is again another vase. Um, who needs so many vases? Nobody knows. But yeah. Okay, the next store is called Fredericks and Mai or May. And I was looking for this style candelabra. This is one that you actually affix to a ceiling, oh, I think one of them is broken. Oh, it's okay, I think I can fix it. So anyway, it's black um, iron and it hangs on the wall and I thought it's so romantic, it's so pretty. Oh, I think I, it's been bent a little bit in transit, but I think I can fix it. Um, I got two of those and kind of like that monastery stuff feeling. I don't know if I want my house to be like a monastery, but anyway. Very beautiful. The shape with the candle in it will just be divine. This is one that looks like it's broken, but I have to, oh yeah, I can fix it. And this is a double version, sorry. That's a double version, which, oh, I'm looking forward to, it's gonna be like that. Hanging them on the wall. Okay, next up, Crit and Barrel. Um, I saw a lot of beautiful things on the Crate and Barrel website, but I realized I was a good girl. Also on Zara, Zara Home US website, which were insane, beautiful, um, but I didn't need them. 
Okay, so what did I get from Crepe and Barrel? I got another candelabra. I know, I went a bit insane with the candelabras. And this one is in a collaboration they did with Jake Arnold. I love that they're doing these collaborations. It just gives the pieces just an additional bit of story. And also, you know, I like that you're supporting interior decorators and designers that you like their style. I, I think that's lovely. Anyway, this is so interesting. I thought for our dining table, I, and again, you can see, can you tell that I like, like ornaments? I do, I always have. But anyway, um, that's that. So I'm very excited about using that. And then I was after longer candles for the wall mounted candle holders and I saw them on Crate and Barrel as well and they were on sale. These are actually another collaboration one with Athena um, Cal Calderon. Sorry, I know who she is. I just couldn't remember it was Cal um, Calderon or Calderon, but it's Calderon and these beautiful candles that will go with that um, candelabra. Oh, that I can just stick it in here. Okay. How gorgeous. But I didn't get three. They come in a pack of two. So I can't put it in this one, but I can put it in the other one. And then I also got it in this color, which I thought was gonna be more brown. It looks more like a deep burgundy color. Deep eggplant, eggplant color. Aubergine, if you know aubergine, eggplant. So that's that. Should I get rid of it? Okay. So that's what I got from Crate and Barrel. And then the rest is from Amazon. So from Amazon, I got a bunch of things, mostly because I could guarantee that they would get there in time. So let me show you what I got. I got this blanket. I was after blankets um, for the couches because we snuggle on the couch watching for movie nights and things like that. And we always, uh, not always, but the kids, and us fighting over blankets and needing to pull it back and forth. So that's why I bought a couple of blankets. Um, this is one, it was a bit different from what I'm usually drawn to, but I have been into checks. Um, actually, I've been into checks for a while, but anyway, this one I saw, I thought I really liked the heaviness of it. Again, slightly different on screen to what it, how it is in person, but I still love it. This is actually a Australian brand. Pretty sure it's Australian or New Zealander. Uh, don't know. I can check. But anyway, these we have cups like these already that I use and the kids use. They're made from coconut husk. They're recycled from coconut husk. Um, the ones I have are slightly larger, but the kids love using them. So I decided. And the ones that I had before were made of cornstarch, and a lot of them broke. Or um, the kids, anyway, whatever. You don't care i got more cups so this, this is the cup it, they're really cute and also have this beautiful um texture to them but super simple as well they're kind of like little sculptures i again black yeah you can see that so i got two sets of those so that um, the kids can use those and then i also got which like i said i have the bottom of these um lids because i find myself having something and then needing to run out of the house. Now, mind you, I generally don't actually drink hot drinks in these because they are, I think, bound with plastic. I don't know if I care about things like that. I care about <laughs> drinking, putting hot things in anything that contains plastics because it leaches. Okay, well, I'm not gonna get into it right now. I think that, that could be its own whole video. If you're interested in that, let me know. If you're not, that's fine. Now, you know, I'm a little bit obsessed with that. So I don't know, but I thought that, you know, in the morning, sometimes I'm having juice. I drink celery juice in the morning or kids are having orange juice and we have to run and um, the cup gets left and the juice gets left and I'm sad. So I thought I'll get these little lids and then we can have to goes if we need to in the morning. I only got four because it's not something that I envisage that we're going to be doing with all the cups. Okay, Amazon. I also, because I bought all these candelabras, bought a packet of candles because I did look here and I couldn't find tapered candles like this. So I got them from the States. 
Oh, and they're not bright white. They're like a beautiful light creamy color. And the other thing I got, which I, another YouTuber, I, there's a few YouTubers on here, interior YouTubers that I adore. And one of them is Arvin Alano. And you, I'm sure, have heard of him. And he recommended this stuff called Stick Um, which helps at the bottom of your candles. So that's what I'm going to use to hold these candles in here. But this is, yeah, they're quite beautiful. I'll let you know what, which ones they are. I did get non-scented candles. Um, yeah, I got non-scented candles. Don't, I do. Another conversation again. Different conversation. I also got these. Again, you can imagine my husband opening these packages and being like, what are you doing? How am I gonna pack all this stuff? I got these. Um, LED screw-on light bulbs, which are battery operated. I think these are gonna be lifesavers in my home. And so I got, um, yeah, four of those because I think I'm going to be, I wanted to use my lamps in places where there isn't uh, plugs and running long cords is like the bane of my existence, even though we have a big pile of cords um, over there, which I don't want to talk about. I don't know what I'm going to do about. Um, um, so I got those and I also got controlled, not controlled puck lights as well for areas of my home where I don't have electricity. I think these are fantastic, probably for rentals. I'll let you know how I go with them. Let me know if you've used them before and how you find them effective if books because you know i had to get books i can't get books here or if you can it's such a limited range and they're very expensive because they're bringing them over from the states um or elsewhere so i have to get some books i got this i'm very excited about reading it's called sacred spaces by carly summers um again someone i discovered on instagram and so I found, I thought the idea of this book was really interesting because she says that she's, she's interviewing the homeowners and what's special about them and their interiors. I bought this book here, How to Live with Objects. The title really got me. And then I read the reviews as well, but yeah. So I don't know, I don't know, I haven't read it yet. I got this, which I told you about Colin King before but this is his new book, Arranging Things. There's a bunch of new interior books that are coming out from people that um, I wouldn't have been able to get in time. I think they come out in October or September, but this I could get now, so I got that. Very excited about opening that. And that's what I haven't got this book. I saw it in a bookstore in um, Singapore and I loved it, but I didn't have the weight allowance to bring it back, so I got it this time. And last one. Last but not least, this by Rose Tarlow. I just recently discovered her. I didn't discover her, she already existed, but somebody was talking about her and I went and checked her out. There isn't, there wasn't much I think on the internet about her interiors, um, but the things that I did see, I was like, wow, that is right down my alley. So I am very excited to open that one up. And oh, I did get one other thing. Last but not least, I got this, which is a chess um, set. Where is it? Oh, I have a few pieces in here. It's marble. It's quite heavy. It's quite beautiful, gray. I, got, I think I got the gray and white um, one, but that's also from Amazon. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video let me know also if there's anything in this haul that you've particularly liked or if you live overseas and you're also in this predicament where if there's something overseas you can't really get it unless someone goes there and you have to ask them to bring it back anyway it would be interesting to connect that way um, and if you haven't already please subscribe and like the video it helps me be exposed to more people who are interested in the things that we are interested in and See you. See you in the next one.